Welcome to NYC Health and Hospital Kings County YouTube podcast. I'm Dr. Susan Law, Director of the Stroke Center, and I'm hosting this season's focus on stroke care at Kings County Hospital. This episode is about stroke rehab with our special guests, Dr. Marshley Fontanes and Dr. Robert DePorto from Rehab. Hi. Hello. Thanks for having us. Can you introduce yourselves to the audience and share your role? My name is Marshley Fantolis. I'm a doctor of physical therapy um, and I'm the physical therapy supervisor at Kings County Hospital and I've been here for 17 years. I'm Dr. Robert DePorto. I am the chief of service of physical medicine and rehabilitation here at Kings County Hospital. I started here in 2015. We send a lot of stroke patients to your rehab facility and we see about 700 strokes a year and a huge percentage of them get the rehabilitation that they need for meaningful recovery. What types of rehab therapies do you have and how are they different? Well, first I wanna say you do a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Fantastic <laughs> service. We offer a variety of different types of physical therapy here. Um, when they're first come in on your service, we provide bedside therapy. Um, at that point in time, we're not only just providing therapy, but we're also assessing patients to see where they live, whether or not they have a walk-up apartment, if they're gonna be able to go home, or if they're gonna need some further type of care, such as acute rehab or subacute rehab. You know, a common question that I get is, what's the difference between acute and subacute rehab? The difference between acute and subacute rehab is how long the patient is going to stay in the actual rehab and their ability to tolerate the therapy. For example, when we assess the patient on your service, in the acute care service, we assess how badly they were affected by the stroke, meaning how long it is going to take for them to recover from the stroke. A patient who needs acute rehab, they have to be able to go home within two to three weeks and they have to be able to tolerate the three hours of therapy. And the, the other patients, we recommend that they go to subacute rehab. Thank you for clarifying that. You know, we have different types of patients with different types of strokes. And it truly is when you assess a patient, you're truly trying to figure out what will be the best fit for the patient and their re rehabilitation. Thank you for clarifying that. Another common question I get from patients is the overall trajectory of the recovery process. And I think that they're most concerned about motor function, which I think there's a difference between motor and functional outcome. Is that correct? Yes. Um, when we accept the patient in acute rehab, our main focus is the function aspect of it. Um, their ability to dress themselves, their ability to get up and walk their ability to, able, to be able to enter and leave their home by going up and down the steps. That's what we focus, focus on. Once they are able to do that safely, we discharge them home. But that doesn't mean that the main reason um, that they came to the hospital, meaning that they are unable to move their arm, they are unable to move their leg, it doesn't mean that that's completely resolved. So once we discharge them home, they continue to different level of care, like home care, home therapy, and furthermore, outpatient therapy. The full recovery research has shown it can take about a year for the patient to fully recover. One patient that I can give an example, he's actually a dancer. When he came here, he was not able to move his arm. He was not able to move his leg. He was unable to even sit up. By the time we discharged him, functionally, he was fine, meaning he was able to get out of bed, he was able to walk, he was able to even go up and down the steps. However, to return to his prior level of function, meaning being able to participate in his dancing, it took a while, more than a year. Now he's not fully back into dancing, but he did return to his prior love of teaching. You know, I think that rehab is truly a labor of care for each individualized patient. What technologies do you incorporate when you evaluate a patient to help them achieve their functional status? Every patient that comes through our acute inpatient service has to demonstrate every activity that they do at home, whether it's bathing, whether it's dressing, eating, uh, transferring from a car to a wheelchair. All of these activities must be performed so we actually have built a studio apartment, which has everything that a home would have, including sinks, the bed, a regular bed, as opposed to a hospital bed, a simulated 
driving course. This will practice response time. We also have a car simulator, which allows us to assess response times and find motor skills for individuals who actually would like to return to driving and we do not feel they're safe. We can actually show them whether or not they have the capacity to stop before hitting a child or an animal or going through red lights or stay within their lane on the road. Wow, that's really extensive services that you provide to our stroke patients. And we do visit our stroke patients. Now your facility uh, is housed in D2 North. It's right next to the CAT scan and MRIs, but it's also in the same hospital where our stroke center is located. So I'm just astounded because, you know, if something happens, we are there and there's a 24 seven neurologist there. I'm really happy and grateful that you take the time to just explain to us because we are really curious on what happens to them. And when we do visit our stroke patients in D2 North, they are so happy and they're so they're so grateful about their overall outcomes and the way they're progressing. I think the stroke patients not only become our family, but the families also become our families. When you're dealing with the tragedy of, of someone who was the, the breadwinner of the house and now all of a sudden they're no longer bringing the money in, it affects the entire family as a whole. So our rehab facility also incorporates the families as well. So we have social work, we have case management, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, the list goes on. And also continuity. They go from your service, they come to rehab, and once they go home, they can return to our clinic and continue to outpatient physical therapy with pretty much the same therapist, the same group of people that they've been dealing with the whole time. What are some words of encouragement? that you can tell our audience who may have a family member or loved one who has suffered from a stroke? It's definitely a traumatic incident that happens. Um, their life pretty much as they know it stopped and they are going to experience a new normal, but they should not give up because we know many people who have been through this and they come back doing very well. Um, so they should definitely not give up. It's not the end of the road for them. You won't be alone. We are here to help. It truly takes a village to help a stroke patient. Thank you so much for telling me about the rehabilitation side of our stroke care. And uh, thank you for listening, everyone.